Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm just getting ready to make some dinner. Today I'm gonna to make a creamy tomato pasta bake with chicken and penne. It's gonna be super easy, super fast, because that's how we need to roll sometimes. So if you'd like to see what I'm making for dinner, I promise it's not groundbreaking, but it is what I'm making. Let me show you. I'm gonna start by chopping a few things up. I'm just gonna start with chopping my parsley and then I'm gonna use one boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm gonna chop that up into bite-sized pieces and season it with salt and pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. And today I'm gonna to use half a box of penne, some pizza mozzarella, half a jar of this Classico marinara sauce, a pinch of sugar, some cremo, and this leftover bin of just a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. And I just wanna get rid of it, so I'm just gonna throw that into the mix as well. I'm making a fairly small pasta bake because I have different ideas for dinner tomorrow so you could definitely double this or triple it, make it as big as you want or as small, but today I'm just going to make a small bake. I'm going to pan fry the chicken and boil my pasta and then add some of the jarred sauce to the pan fried chicken chunks. I'm adding just this tiny bit of cheddar cheese that I had left over that I need to get rid of and a little pinch of sugar. Some of the jarred sauces are quite sweet and you wouldn't need to do this, but this particular brown doesn't have any sugar added and we do like it a little bit on the sweet side, so I'm adding that and about a quarter cup of Cremo to make it creamy. It's really cold from the fridge and so it's separating just a little bit, but that's okay. Now I'm adding a little bit more ground pepper and the cooked penne back into the pan and mix it around and add my fresh chopped parsley and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. After I give it a good mix, I'm going to pop it in my casserole dish and top it with a little bit more mozzarella cheese. The cheese is giving me a hard time. It's frozen. I like to keep my cheese frozen sometimes, so I gotta just get it out there somehow. Then I'm gonna bake it at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and golden brown on top and dinner will be ready. Pasta bake's just baking in the oven. I love this. Dinner's all thought of and ready. I just need to pull it out and get one of my kids, but I'm just making a cup of tea. Normally I bring her a little passion tea, but I decided to try a new one today and it smells so good. I'll show you what it is. I think this has been around for a while. The wild sweet orange from Tazo. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to try it. My label's all wet. I always dump the label inside the teapot. I don't know why that happens, but I ended up getting a little bit distracted and let my pasta bake in there for a little bit too long. It was beeping off at me and I knew I should have gone straight away, but I didn't and it got a little overly brown, but that's okay. I'll show you what my plate looks like at dinner. I served it with a little bit of garlic bread and a side salad. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.